All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a beautiful map. I'm going to zoom out. Just look at this. This is called Rivulet. Uh, and I think it started in a tournament called Doubles Cup back in the day. Anyways, I've never seen it uh, until a cast last week, and I love it. And I'd like to really incorporate this into more events and more casts. Uh, it wasn't made for eight players, so forgive me uh, if this is a little unfair for some of the players. But let's do the introductions. We've got eight kings around the map. And there's going to be one winner at the end here, you would think. Uh, the goal, as always, is to kill all the other kings. But, as you see the allying now, you can always ally and work with people in the early stages. So, in the right corner, we have Dominius. Dominius is playing as the Turks. Um, I believe this is Dominius's first community game. There are three people who immediately said, OMG, I'm stressed out. This is scary. And Teal just said, rip me. Yep, that pretty much confirms that this is Teal's first community game. And maybe Teal is a little worried. Uh, in the purple, we have the last fruitcake, the other one, or one of the other ones, who also said it was their first community game. Last fruitcake is playing as the Saracens. In the blue, we have Peter, who is playing as the Aztecs. In the gray, we have Mira, who's playing as the Slavs. In the orange, we have our base 96, who's playing as the Goths. And in the red, we have WDW Kid playing as the Cumans. And then... In the green, we have Voscarius. Uh, Voscarius is uh, playing as the Koreans. And then, last but not least, I didn't see this person's name until we uh, got into the match. We have Joseph Stalin. Um, so, the meaning of Kami Games, which is normally short for community games, just got a little too real. We're just going to call him Joe for short, all right? Uh, playing as a Sicilian. So, we'll see what happens. Uh you know, I want to talk about the map and kind of the layout of it. So way down here in the south. Oh, it shouldn't say capture the relic Komodo. Okay, sorry, hold on. Regicide. Free for all. Diplomacy. We'll, we definitely won't edit that later. So down here in the south, you've got a lot of water. So there's pros and cons to every situation. You know, this situation kind of sucks for wood, right? But... You do have access to the water, which can be quite nice. You've got a lot of berries, too, and you've got some boars, which other players might struggle to find. Um, towards the... Uh, oh, God, Gray, please don't lose your king to a TC. Thank you. Uh, towards the corners, you have safety, I would say. And there's a lot of stone and gold up here. So I don't think this position is all that bad for Teal or for Joe. You know, good old, good old friendly Joe over here. Um, in the very north... I think this position is also fine. Uh, you've got stone and gold, but then you also have excess hunt if you want it. And so our base is taking advantage of that. I don't think you can build on this ice, but obviously milling uh, right next to that and running into the middle is fine. So my main concern with this map was that there wasn't going to be balance with the player's starts. I honestly feel as though the player's starts are fairly balanced. I'm not looking at any player and saying, oh God, they can't do this or that. And there's a lot of variety. So here we have good old Diplo Joe, and Joe says, our base only talking to you, and we'll see what type of Diplo happens there, and Joseph Stalin, <laughs> I missed it, but Joe said, but I hate the West, so um, yeah, our base and, and Joe are going to discuss things here shortly. Now, I want to talk about community game experience, because this stuff does matter, um, all the players won't know this, but I certainly know this, and a lot of the viewers might know this as well. <laughs> um, so Dominius here is is a first time community game as I said you have the fruitcake as well first time community game and then there was another one and that actually might be Joseph Stalin because the name is different than Discord there's no Joseph Stalin in the T90 Discord so I, I honestly don't really recall the third one but what I can tell you is uh, Mira has, has been around for many years okay so Mira's got some experience and has played uh, and then WDW Kid, it was funny, actually said when we drew the players in our Discord, I, I knew this is my first community game, which is a complete lie. WDW Kid has played before. And then Voscarius is the most experienced. I, I think Voscarius has been around the longest, and some of the longest out of all my viewers. Voscarius, I think, has been around for like five years now. So uh, Voscarius has won community games, has lost community games, and has been there, done that. Oh, and then our base. Uh, I can't not mention our base, and I think Peter as well. But our base has been around for about as long as Voscarius. No, no, no. Actually, only about three years, if I recall. But it's hard to really keep track of everybody. 
Okay, so uh, longtime friends, question mark. Our base says yes. Joe says not friends. Family, smiley face. And our base says trade partners. And Joe says life partners. And our base laughs. And Joe is loving the Diplo. Says send a queen over, question mark. You are my queen, smiley face. Got it. So let's look at let's look at the economy. Uh, no surprise that uh, that Joe over here is on the lower side due to the uh, all the conversations. But uh, Eco's looking pretty good and very safe in the corner. Um, I noticed the vil count for red is really low, and I think it was because of a fast feudal. We see the kings moving around. Gotta love it. Gotta love capture age and how it shows us that now. And they're just trying to scout to find things. This is not played on Explored. So, majority of the players here probably don't really understand this map that much. And they're talking about what resources are there, but that won't be the same for everyone. And, hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing today? Doing good? Cool. Awesome. See ya. Voscarius is no gold and no wood. Yeah, I guess, I guess, like, the lack of wood would hurt, but at the same time, having a fish boom, I know it doesn't necessarily feel in line to say no wood, but it's good to have a fish boom because you need wood for this, but it's enough. And I think once Vascarius is allied with people with a market, Vascarius can probably relocate. I do feel like the north is the spot to be for the stone and gold in the long term, though. East, west, and north, and then south is you're just kind of stuck. So, okay. Um, Can someone play for community game again if they played previously in the same day? No, I try and keep it to one game a day. There's a lot of people who try and get in. We get about 100 to 150 people trying to get in every time. So if you played today, you'll have to sit out for the rest of the day. We have the conversations. Teal says, I'm blind to chat, FYI. Talk to me several times. So I like this. Teal's saying right off the get-go, like, hey, I really struggle with keeping up with chat. If I don't respond, that means that I'm just... I'm just not able to pay attention. It doesn't mean I'm neglectful to our relationship. Teal has brought the king home and is going to make a scout now to scout the map, which I think is pretty smart. And we will see the players slowly advance up towards the castle age, you would think. There's not a ton of Diplo. But right now, it feels like Joseph Stalin and Arbase are allies, but... Our base doesn't really want to use the word ally. Our base just says trade partners. Whereas Joe really wants a life partner. I like Teal's walling. Yeah, Teal's got a lot of resources in here as well. We'll see if maybe the last fruitcake can get some conversation in with Dominius. Because in the Discord, Dominius was actually the one who said, let's do the three new alliance. Now, it doesn't mean that if you've never played in a T90 community game, you are a noob. But, you know, uh, experience in community games, regardless of individual skill, also does matter. Us three are at the bottom. Lulz, the underdogs. Okay, Dominius talking only to you. Yes, 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 yes. I like this. That will be the two noob alliance, perhaps. All right, let's look at the economies real quick. Highest is the last fruitcake, and... Oh, excuse me. That second highest, Vascarius, is the highest at 38. Vascarius, as well, must be closing in on clicking up to the Castle Age. May I mine some of the gold in your base? I can give extra wood in exchange. And, well, last fruitcake already gave the wood. So, preemptively sends the wood. Maybe trying to sweeten the deal. And... Teal says, sure, let me fish in your pond. 11. And last fruitcake says, no problem. <laughs> I like Voscarius. I like how it's just, am I friends with you? Question mark. It's not let's be friends. It's, uh, am I friends with you? Hey, Blue, talking only to you. Want to team up? So that would be Mira talking to Peter. Normally, you have like one player talking to like four or five. This game, you've got a couple people talking to each other, but they're all separate groups. Which is interesting, to say the least. What's the best trade line? I mean, in theory, the best trade line is the east to the west. And there's also a road there, or what looks like a road. <laughs> I just don't know if that would be smart. <laughs> I think uh, trading from here to here would be good. Or from down here... 
to here. Okay. <laughs> Joseph Stalin says Teal. Teal responds, and Joe says, I like our trade potential. Very strong trade route. I hope we can at least get one trade card to go back and forth between there. But it's going to be so exposed and so easy to raid. You're going to be trading through people's farming eco. Okay. You can tell yellow is just like... Yellow has waited so many months, if not years, for this moment. And is just saying, I'm not going to let this moment slip. Like, I I have watched enough Diplo games where I haven't seen people chat. So guess what? I'm in this game. I'm going to chat like a madman. And I'm going to make sure that my mom is proud. Should be a pretty good boom here for Yellow, too. Sicilians do have good economy. Also, they build their town centers faster. So there's going to be a TC here. And a TC here as well. And Teal doesn't seem that interested <clears throat> in trading with Joe. Uh, just mentioned purple. Let's trade. So I think those two are friends. I don't know who Vascarius was speaking to earlier, but it is worth reminding everyone that pretty much everyone is allied here. Also, it's worth pointing out that there is a wonderful little waterfall, if you could call it that here. Somehow there is a goat standing in it, um, and there's salmon in the midst of the waterfall just flying out of it like it's nothing. It's funny, in the scenario editor, there is actually a waterfall. You can actually have a waterfall in Age of Empires 2, but we don't see that in random map scripts too much, if at all. You also have bridges. I don't know if you guys remember making scenarios growing up and making bridges. I used to make bridges, and I would, I would then have a large hill beyond the bridge where I would sit with a bunch of towers and units, and the AI would just flood units up the hill, and I would just watch it, and I would be like, oh my god, I'm so good at this game, and just feel good about myself. All right. I don't know if I'm alone in that. Do we get green in our team? I'm in a boom mood for sure. Vascarius is nice. Joe says maybe. Vascarius says no. And Joseph Stalin says he's probably with purple, though. Well, I have seen no indication that that is actually the case. But yes, gold is definitely going to be a concern for Vascarius and the last fruitcake. I love to make villagers build bridges using triggers. You can actually make villagers build the bridges. Interesting. <laughs> Relatable childhood nostalgia. Yeah. Hmm. Overall, an even game. But Joe is actually the strongest, which I think is going to be terrifying for the rest of the players. Having Joseph Stalin, of all people, being the top scorer at some stage would be quite terrifying, I would say. Also, I'm not sure what this king did to get exiled into the ice. But the king is going to come home now. He learned his lesson. He went out there to find God. <laughs> he went out there to find God. He's going to be religious. He's going to be a more peaceful king. And Teal has just turned on Gray to go for the king. And I don't know if Gray has noticed this. Okay, Gray notices this now. Wow. And Mira says Teal? Question mark, question mark, question mark. And Teal allies trying to snipe Rude. And Eleven comes out from Teal. Teal just laughs. Uh, you can't even blame me. Don't expose like that. <laughs> I mean... Okay, so clearly Gray knows that Teal can't be trusted. Because anytime there's an easy opportunity, Teal's going to take it. Oh, man. I mean, it was good that Gray noticed that the uh, that the king was out there for a bit. Okay. Hey, Green. Vascarius says yes. Joe says friends. And Vascarius says okay. All right, so this is how I think... Things are playing, are, are developing with the diplomacy, okay? I'm going to do my best. Now, obviously, everyone's allied right now, but that doesn't necessarily mean they will long-term. Orange and yellow are friends, okay? I don't think orange completely trusts yellow, but I think orange will respect yellow's alliance. Green and yellow are friends. I do think yellow and green, I think just because of how strong they're both going to be, I think they're going to fight together for a while. You've got red in the middle. No freaking clue who Red's teamed with, what Red wants to do. is also in the middle of, like, everyone here. So, 
I'm a little concerned for red. Uh, and then over here, gray and blue are buddies, but they're not really chatting that much. They also are kind of stuck in the middle. And then you've got purple and teal. They're 100% allies. They do trust each other. They do like each other. It's it's love. It's cute. Uh, and then you kind of got this whole like weird trade situation with Joe, who's getting 201 gold per trip, by the way, with teal, but I don't think teal will fully trust yellow. So I am... Um, anyways, I, I am just... I, there's not a lot of strong formations here. But yellow is kind of trading with everyone. And wants to be... I love this from yellow. Yellow says trade with me. Hold on a second. I gotta check something. Because I see red says if interested. What's that about? Did red signal the market and say if interested? Is there a market out here? And then yellow said no trade with me. Oh, I think, I think red traded, or sorry, made the markets here. Yes, because this was recent. Signaled it, and I missed the signal. And said, if interested. And yellow is basically telling everyone else, no, trade with me. Now, what's funny is, it's actually a better market to trade with. This is the best market to trade with. So the fact that yellow is, is getting so many people to work with him, with trade, is a big thing. Our base is good idea. There is a market further to the west. Yes, there is. You know those games where someone is where it's corner to corner. So let's say there was a player here, and then there was teal, and then there's purple in the middle, and they would kill purple because purple is in the middle of the trade, and they wouldn't want to attack the corner players. That situation doesn't really happen in this type of a base layout. There's no one smack dab in the middle of the trade in normal trade circumstances. And good old Joe says, by the way, guys, stone will be an issue. Hit up that market quick, is what I think Joe meant to say. Yeah, I agree. I think this map looks really cool. Let's look at the economy now. Uh, a lot of players in the 60s. And then there is three players in the 90s for Vill Count. You have Mira, you have Arbase. Oh, uh, four, excuse me. You have Joe, and you have Ascarius. So pretty even in that regard. Teal says, so perp blue, only us three can read this. Us versus the world, question mark? I, I'm not sure if that's going to pan out well for you guys. I, I get trying to form an alliance, but I don't know if you should necessarily see the others as enemies just yet. I think you can say, no matter what happens, we work together. But I think saying us versus the world right now, uh, not totally convinced, but I like Teal's spirit. Teal says, I can bring the cab and gunpowder. All right. Remember, Gray doesn't trust Teal. So Blue, who, by the way, is walling Teal out. So I don't think Blue really trusts Teal either. But Teal's little funky snipe attempt earlier is kind of making it less likely that Blue and Gray will trust him. But last fruitcake and Dominius are all about it, guys. They might be uh, you know, a bit behind in some ways. The purple score, I think. I'm not sure why purple score is so high, to be honest with you. At only 78 villagers. But yeah, I think that they're communicating well. They're, they're showing trust in each other. And that's what a lot of players who get killed off early don't do. Like red. <laughs> I like I just haven't seen red converse with anyone too much. And is right smack dab in the middle. I want to say thank you very much. Uh this is 20 minutes ago because I'm a neglectful streamer. Thanks to Harry very much for the new sub. Uh, if this ever hits YouTube, I think it's gonna be too late. But uh until the end of April, Facebook gaming's giving a twenty freaking dollar bonus. A twenty dollar bonus every single new subscriber that comes into the channel so uh, and when i say that that's not you getting 20 dollars. just to clarify i don't want you to sub and be like yo where's my 20 bucks it actually goes to me but already getting 100 percent of the five dollar subscription on top of that 20 dollar bonus if there's ever a time where you would want to click that button and support this would be the time i'm going to try and put all, all those bonuses towards events and whatnot that i'm already planning on stone getting expensive got no stone in my area it's all north and yeah they're starting to realize there's just not a lot of stone in the other areas and it's just been great banking up that stone and orange banking up that stone 
Okay. How about share 50% with all subscribers? People have brought that up. That would just be way too annoying and frustrating to deal with. <laughs> I did. I literally had someone say, uh, T90, give me 10 bucks and I'll subscribe. <laughs> They're like, I get five bucks out of it and then you get the bonus. Uh, but I've got content to make, man. I've got content to make. And uh, if you can't justify subscribing, you know, you got to support your, your yourself, your family, all that stuff first, obviously. If you can't justify it, that's cool. I get that. Castle in the in the very corner. I always like to see this. This is also really good YouTube thumbnail territory. I don't know if this will ever be used, but I'll just put this here. And Joe is is very very excited about this. His left gang rise up. And our base says it might seriously be left versus right right now. And I think if that happens, I believe left wins. But I don't know. Then again, I mean, having slabs out there when there's goths could be really bad for goths. Gray says, Blue, I'm down to ally you. Okay. Blue doesn't trust anyone. Blue has walled out everyone. Full stone walls. Blue's like, nope, I'm not going to be killed here. Hmm. I need to spend my money for supplies. Supplies! I, I get it. Hmm. Let's look at stockpiles. It's definitely the time of the game to see who is the most of what. And Gray has 3,500 stone, 6,500 gold. Is that without trade? That is without any trade as far as I can see. And our base is speaking to Mira. This is new. That'd be good. Oh, wait. I might have misread the conversation. Ah, uh, Gray, who are you teamed up with? Gray says blue, but I'm down to ally you. Our base says that'd be good. We have all the gold. And Mira says, well, they have trade. So thank you, Alex. Thank you, Ricky. Appreciate it, guys. Seriously. I still can't get over the fact... I didn't believe it was real. I actually messaged him. I was like, hey, is this is this a bug? $20 bonus? Because I've never in my life seen someone be like, hey, you ever you want to watch a magic trick? Five dollars turned into twenty-five, and they were like, "Yeah, that's that's real." It's like, "Oh, okay." What's the plan, boys? Gray says, "I'm going champs, Rosina." I do not believe Gray was telling Yellow that. I do not believe that. And then our base is telling Yellow, as Yellow is talking to our base, I believe. Says, "Let's go blue first. And Joe says, which shade of blue? I suppose the, the teal, the blue, the cyan, it's all close to each other here. So that could be a little confusing. Vascaria says, I might be able to snipe purple easily. And yeah, purple, uh, leaving the king within this town center, certainly not good. But again, couldn't mine much stone or gold in this game. It has been relying on trade. But look at the trade. Look at what the trade has done. The gold workers are high. The gold count's not bad. In, in here, we've got some onagers. Are those siege onagers, actually? It's a siege onager. Nice. Okay. We have very little action on the water at this point. Finally, blue speaks. Our base just said to go for blue. Okay, so our base... Uh, this, is, this is purple who heard that from our base and is telling his friends... And Peter says, well, you can, but I'd be sad. Oh, that's that's sad. And then Teal says, he's goth, gonna come with spammy boys. That could work. What is a spammy boy? <laughs> I've heard pointy boy. I know the goth spam fast, but what unit is a spammy boy? And last fruitcake is like, I have SO, which is not bragging about having a girlfriend. That's not significant other. That is Siege Onager. I mean, actually, I could be wrong. Maybe it is bragging, but, um, but yeah, so it seems like they kind of know that our base can't be trusted on this side, but blue lacks confidence to really be able to fight right now. It does kind of look like east versus west, but the, the east, ah, I was going to say they haven't really traded two out of the four players over here have traded. You have an oops. From Joseph Stalin, and that was probably because everyone heard the raw from the first crusade. And they're pointing out now they heard the noise, so they're like, What was that noise? You always hear a little like raw. There you go. Um, 
I think I got it right that time. And that is First Crusade. Uh, it's technology that gives you seven free sergeants from your town centers upon completing the upgrade. Forgot one of my unique techs is sergeants at the TCs. Honestly, very good from yellow to say that because people might be worried. And Dominius says, hey, T90, look murder holes, 11. Murder holes! There you go, Dominius. I know you're going to look for that later. Time for a crusade to the east. Our base is, is sick of sitting around. Our base is ready to fight. Our base also has the highest eco number and the highest relic count. Do you have a target in mind? Don't really want to be an aggressor. But this is too clam. Man, it is very clammy in here, you know? Oh, calm. Okay, gotcha. I'm not sure if it's calm, but definitely clammy. Yeah, like, it would look really bad. I, I think it would be a mistake for Gray to be the one to start the fights against anyone over here. Because they kind of trust Gray. And then, it's so easy for the players on this side to just say, thanks, Gray, for helping us, and then kill him. Blue, I'll help you. Teal will help too, right? Yeah, this is just looking like the three players who said they were going to have the Noob Alliance are not going to bring in anyone else, and they're just going to get wrecked. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I forget if Peter was one who said it was his first community game. I mean, I love the fact we see Elite Jag, but I'm just not seeing a ton of trade in Eco. Hmm. My holy army is on the way. It's, is it just sergeants? Yeah, it's just sergeants. Not even elite sergeants. And Blue says you are too good to me, guys. Aw, it's so wholesome. Blue is so nice. But nice does not win battles. Nice does not win wars. Teal says who do we attack first, though? What you guys need is you need a free agent. You need to find someone who doesn't have a team right now. And I think that person's gray. We can straight out take out Blue. He has one castle. And now Blue says I vote for Orange. So Blue is saying, hey, we're going to go after the goth player. And so, you know, it's going to be Teal, Purple, and Blue against Orange. But it's going to be... I don't know if, if the other players are really going to fight together, but... By the way, Muscarius has Korean Cav Archers. Oh! <gasps> I'm glad I paid attention. Muscaria says, okay, I'm going. This is Purple's point of view. Now, Purple has played really well, but has completely forgotten about the king. This army is Purple's focus. Yellow is scary. After we kill Blue, do we go for them next? So, Purple is thinking about the future. The transport comes over. Shh. It's also very hard to see green here. And Voscarius does the early turn on purple, which is perfect. And then you want to split up your cav archers. I'm not sure I agree with... Well, no, he knows the purple is going to run that way. And say goodbye, purple. Ah, what the... What, what the... What? The king is alive! The king is alive! Purple has a chance! And Voscarius is not there, 11, as if to say the king wasn't there. No, the king was there. <laughs> The king was there, bro. <laughs> I guess he didn't see it. You know, it is true. You look at how thin the king is. It's very hard to know. What the? Purple must have panicked, and I don't know what is happening right now. <laughs> purple, what did you click? I think purple try pressed the garrison hotkey for the king to go into the castle, but had the siege on just go... <laughs> I had the siege on a drew selected or something. Oh, no. Okay, purple realized now. And now the king is like, well, can I go in there? Because it doesn't look too safe. And these villagers are like, you got it, boss. We'll just repair that for you. Sorry, that was just a malfunction. <laughs> I like how it's even more humiliating because orange says purple, you're attacking your own castle. Now, red shows up. So we've got purple against red now too so it's it's not starting in the way that they expected it they thought blue was going to be attacked and so this is diplo for you so red turning on blue and also turning on teal so this is definitely the the three in the east against the others 
And now gray is going to turn on blue as well. And, and so often in these games, it boom up for a while and then the fighting begins. And it's just, I just don't see a world where this goes well for the players in the corner. Um, it's not something that excites me usually to see, you know, some of the weaker players ganged up on. But there's just no reason for the others to not kill them if gray isn't going to... You know, if Gray is going to fight alongside them. Like a 5v3, you clear out some of the players, you get closer to victory. And Purple is, of course, terrified and says, I need help. And that help is going to arrive. And as that help arrives for Purple, what is going to happen is... And Purple can actually deal with most of this on his own. Green Cab Archers aren't really that good. But yeah, there's just going to be too many numbers coming their way. They had to make themselves valuable... We have hand cannons from the Goths, and we've got the champions, and blue is probably going to get massacred. So, we have the Jaguar Warriors. I'm glad we get to see this in action. Jaguar Warriors are very strong against champions, but the hand cannons behind it, perfect counter to the Jags. It is not exploding kings. This is the more realistic scenario. And uh, we have Joseph Stalin turning on the last fruitcake. And Gray is saying he fled. So, it looks like Blue is just going to hide out with Teal in the corner. You now start to think, can you get yourself out of this? Can you do anything to stay alive? Do you start to betray your team? Like, in theory, Teal could start to make some deals here and try this. By the way, can we talk about this box formation with the monk inside? Look, I'm going to rewind just so you can appreciate this again. Oh, perfect. Okay, we continue. Yeah, teal, teal and purple are going to be able to push this back. This is going to be a clear here if green doesn't get out of here. But they are still going to get hit on the other side. Now, Dominius thought he was friends with Joseph Stalin, and I guess his first mistake was trusting Joseph Stalin. He says, Yellow, what are you doing here? Why are you here? And Yellow says, just goofing. I I'm really liking Yellow's personality. I feel like Yellow's personality is very goofy. It's very fun, very good for community games. And uh, just after that, yellow turns on teal. And we have some big SO shots here from purple. Thankfully, not on a castle that he owns. Because that would be kind of rough. A lot of siege onagers, they will be protected here. And we'll see if this, uh, how long this stand lasts. Grace says want to take out teal. And he's, of course, talking to our base. And our base has now been turned on by Teal, and it does feel a little bit inevitable for these three right now. Teal knows it, too. Teal knows it. Teal's like, oh, no, everyone's going against me. Now, guys, I think Joe's going to start talking about it. What happens on the other side while this is going down is huge. Because it's so easy to just come over here and snipe red. It's so easy to run in here and snipe green. So I think Yellow's going to start talking about it. Yellow's not committing a lot into this right now. He says, can I build here? Okay. He's talking about building. Our base, I need help with Yellow. And unfortunately, our base is not here to help. This is the brutal reality of community games at times. The recap here is that the three players in the East said in the Discord where all the players were selected, we are going to ally till death. They said the three new Alliance and the three new Alliance didn't do a ton to try and bring the non noobs as they said, anyways, into the uh, into the team. And, oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. Purple says, if I kill Teal, you kill Yellow? Question mark. So Purple's trying to make a deal. Like, Purple, I think, sees the writing on the wall and realizes this is going to be bad. That said, they did, well, until now. They did have trade. Purple wants to kill something, and Purple is willing to betray his friends in order to get vengeance against Yellow, which is going to be a tough task. By the way, Yellow's King doesn't actually show on the minimap of Capture Age because it is stuck in the corner. I just learned that. Okay. Okay, Joseph Stalin is going to talk to Orange. Purple, I think, is realizing that there's going to be no deals. That this is only getting worse. Love the fact we're seeing Saracen Campbells. Purple played this one very well. Has a lot of army. 
Purple, it has been an honor to die with you. This teal. And last fruit cake just says yes. I don't think last fruit cake is ready to give up yet. I think teal sees the writing is on the wall. And rightly so, because there's a lot of stuff here. And it's only getting worse. But I don't think purple's ready to give up because purple isn't being attacked by three people, just by green. Also, Moritz and Dan, thank you guys. Thank you, everybody. Sorry I missed some of those names there. I'm focused on kind of the the death and destruction. Blue's king is threatened by red. And red is attacking Teal's TC to get there. And blue is now on the move with that king. Not a lot of speaking here from blue. You know what I want to see, guys? I want to see someone in the community game be named after a monk. Like one of the holiest men ever. And I want him to, like, if they're being killed off, to, like, curse the person killing them. You know what? Or not, maybe not curse, but, like, you know, damn them to hell or something. I want to see that one of these days. I think it'd be really funny if the player who then, like, was looking all high and mighty as they were killing the, the weak religious guy, <laughs> then, like, somehow had uh, really bad luck later on in the game. Like, I, I don't know, like, you guys would be better at giving me suggestions here. Teal and blue first, then purple. Gray is easy to beat for me. Really? You think so, as goths? I guess gray doesn't have that many fortifications. Interesting. Gray, ally? And gray says yes. See, I, I mentioned this before. I really feel like gray helping these players over here is not going to be good in the long run for him. Like, I think Gray kind of had to choose the, the guys on the right side. And may, it, it should have been East versus West for it to be better off for Gray long term. But hey, Teal's not dead yet. Purple's not dead yet. The army count for both of them are in the top three. And Blue is still alive. Teal says, okay, Gray betrayed us, but we survived for now. Yeah, so Teal's like, we, we're still in this. And here comes Yellow with a random light calf. Wasn't Friar Tuck, which, which, uh, was it Pope Leo or Friar Tuck? No, no, no. Friar Tuck was from, um, something else. Um, it was Pope Leo, I think, that was, and I think this is disputed. But, whoa, 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 what's happening here? Was that a mistake? I'm very confused. Who just, Teal's dead! Teal is dead! Hold on, we need to go back. I missed that one. What happened? I saw the Siege Avengers attacking. I didn't know there was a king there. Purple just killed Teal. Right after Teal was like, we survived that, my brother. Oh, and it was in his own castle. I see. Oh, that would have been so funny if he killed his own king. Okay, so he ejected it and shot it. Okay, I saw, I saw the action here. So Teal is out of the game. And Teal's probably like, what? And now Teal's here. And he says, Perp, I trusted you. Yo, that was spicy. And now we've got yellow going after gray. We've got good old Joe raiding with light calf. Trusted you and you betrayed me. And purple says nice, now green. But like, I think purple was thinking, what I'm not getting from purple's perspective is I feel like it would have been better for purple to use teal against green. <laughs> and like, gray is just going to get rolled, so... You could have actually used teal here. Anyways, you guys go for purple. Yellow says yes. Vascarius says yes. And I think our base is going to make a move. And man, they've had trade here for so long. I think our base is going to make a move towards gray here shortly. It definitely could have also been a situation where you just want to kill something and you think you're going to die. Yellow attacked me. Can we take care of him? So it's essentially two people talking to each other right now. Come the Saracen Camels. Big Siege Onager shots on the Camels. Plus, Arbalest is pretty good against Camels. This is not a great situation for these Camels, but they do have a lot of HP. The Siege Onagers for Purple are still behind all this. So he's not able to get any hits in. Big shot there from Purple who's paying attention to that. But those Camels, they are gone. They are long gone. 
I mean, we're looking at a situation where they are quickly running out of wood. The players in the north are pretty much out of it. And that wood is going to be more toward... It's like the second shelf, you could say. And yellow says green. I'll make halb. I noticed that yellow doesn't want to spend gold. Let's look at the stockpiles. Yeah, yellow is not spending any gold. It just wants to make trash units and bank up the gold for later on in the game. It's a good strategy. I think it's a really good strategy to do that. And right now... Like, I... Should we be surprised that no one wants to attack Joseph Stalin? Like, does the name influence who you want to kill or not kill in these types of games when you're in them? I don't know. Anyways, purple... I do not think that purple helped his own chances by killing Teal. I think that if Teal was still in this, that purple, Teal, and gray would put up a better fight together. And then blue... Honestly, I don't even know if blue has interest. Is blue even playing right now? Blue doesn't have... Does blue have eco? Blue has 14 villagers, but 11 of them are idle, so I think blue is just along for the ride right now. Oh, God! Big, big bomber cannon shots, but oh, God! Oh, yes, baby! Let's go! Oh, scary is stop microing like a nerd for once in your life. You know the people want to see it. Oh, wow, that was great micro from Buscarius. Seriously, that could have been bad. And now you got a couple units in here, and Purple could accidentally do the friendly fire thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is painful. This is painful. Attack round right here. Oh, he missed him. The Halberdier's ducked. And Fruitcake has just died right here. I'll do a quick little rewind. No, it was right here. You guys saw it. As Fruitcake was trying to defend from the other side, our base gets the kill. Fruitcake calls the GG. Now Teal and Purple can talk to each other. If Teal still has the game up, they are now in heaven and they can talk to each other. I'm very curious to see if there's any discussion there. But again, I think in Fruitcake's defense, I think it was a situation where it felt like he, they were going to die and maybe Fruitcake just wanted to kill something. But I think Purple... You know, unfortunate, like Blue, like Teal, to be attacked early on. They didn't really have the support of Grey when they needed it. But uh, I, I think you could say Purple probably deserved to be killed off there after the betrayal. Now here we've got Red, who's guarding. I can't tell if Red is attacking or guarding these Kipchaks. What is happening? Oh, Yellow is attacking Grey. Oh, it was one Cav Archer. I see. Yellow attacked me, don't, says Gray. Interesting. And you still got Peter, and Peter's just here. Peter is not trying to do anything at all. I've not seen any conversation from Peter. Peter's like, if we don't move, they won't remember I'm alive. It's a classic play dead scenario. I'm pretty sure it says you should play dead if you're attacked by brown bears, and also if you're attacked in community games. It, it, Google it. It's something like that. Um... Attack red, pick a side. And red says, are we going for gray? So I guess green and yellow want to kill red, but the other players want to go for gray. Oh, no, 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 no. I think that is, I think that is green saying, red, you need to attack gray. You need to pick a side here and you better fight with us or we're going to kill you. Barbe says, I'm just killing blue real quick. I know where he is. Kind of annoying to get to. Okay. So yeah, he did research trees, and Blue is clearly here. Blue is running into the town center. And is kind of delaying the inevitable, but so is Teal's Hussars, as Teal is now killing all the Hussars. Or not, not the Hussars, the Bombard Cannons with his Hussars, so Blue will survive a bit longer. Blue is also trading, which is kind of funny, and still making trade cards? What? So he is doing stuff, but he's not doing anything with villagers. It's probably his best chance to stay alive. Delete your castle up top or I kill it. Which castle are we talking about here? I think he's talking to Red. Red is making petards out of this. Yeah. <laughs> Red can clearly not be trusted. Okay. Sorry, Gray. I'll delete it. Okay. So Red's trying to buy time. 
I like this from WDW. He's like, okay, I'll delete it, but... Wait, which castle? Oh, yeah, just buy more. Yes, buy more time. Yes, which one? Oh, I'm so confused. I don't know which one you're talking about. Uh, is it that one or this one? Which one are we doing? Or is it going to be the other one or this one? Here he comes with the Kip checks. Gray knows what's up. Gray's like, I don't trust you for a second. And the petards that are in there, I don't think there's enough of them to be able to take out the castle, but he's going to make a run for it anyways. I appreciate the attempt, WDW kid. I, I love good, solid attempts that don't work. A lot more than no attempt at all. And so now red and gray are against each other. But this is actually good for red because now green's going to look at this and say, okay, red is with us. And yeah, while Petard or two might have hit there, that is not going to be the end for gray yet. Now, is blue still alive? Guys, I think Teal's Hussar is killing the Bomber Cannons from our base is honestly the only reason blue's still alive. Blue could maybe come back if they forget forget about him excuse me I'm really hoping that blue can somehow get away with this I don't think that will be possible Dominius is fruit still here so Dominius is back a nice job this is our base and gray says can't really deal with cav archer yeah I think gray somehow believes that our base is still on his side he's not installance is great talking just to you. And here's the deal. Gray really needs a friend right now. So you'll take any friend you can get. And he says, which castle is Orange's king in? Which castle is Orange's king in? So yellow, considering turning on our base, he said they wanted to be life partners or whatever at the start. Blue is starting to farm. Teal is still doing work from beyond the grave to defend. <laughs> Oh my god. And Joseph says, Gray, are you going to respond to me? Hey, one sec. I got to get up and turn my fan off. Just one sec. And oh, 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 this is going to shake things up, actually. This is going to shake it up like a salt shaker. Look at this. We've got Yellow wants me to tell him where your king is. He wants to snipe you. And our base says, good luck to him. And good luck to me. I got to go turn my fan off. One sec. Okay, I'm back. Uh, green on me now. Here comes green. Gray is very overwhelmed by this. Okay, I didn't hear game sound when I came back. I was confused. Gray, question mark? Trying to help you. And gray... Ah, man, I feel like it would have... I'm not sure if it's better for gray or worse for gray that gray decided to sell our base. Because on one hand, he needs our base, but on the other hand, I'm not sure if our base would actually try and help him. I want to hear yellow and red out a bit, green. Don't know what they want now. Well, that's that's great and all, but it sucks for gray. Because gray tried to do the right thing and tell you, and now you're just like, oh yeah, I want to hear him out and be very patient. Yeah, that's, that's very selfish. <laughs> and you should be selfish in this instance, orange. But now what you can't you kind of ruined your deal with yellow. There's a there's a deal on the table if you're gray. And you thought it would be the right thing to tell our base it was coming, but you can't just go over to yellow now. I mean, I guess you could signal one of those castles and say that's it. And don't tell him that you told him, but Want to stay friends until the end, orange? Our base says yes, Vascari says good. Our base says I think yellow is really dangerous. And yellow is dangerous. Yellow says move on green. So like he's thinking about making a move all the time against somebody. And I guess gray is just chopped liver, as they say. I guess gray is just unimportant to this whole venture. Our base says why not gray first? Yeah, no one cares about gray. <laughs> it's sad, but no one cares about gray. And guys, then there's red, who uh, has one villager in each of these three castles to hide the king. Then we have a king here. And Gray's like, can I get a break? I'm telling you, it blue booms back into this. I mean, the longer you just hear bickering from everyone else. What does blue's resources look like right now? Blue has 1,500 gold. Blue could snipe a king, maybe. Peter could maybe come back from the dead. 
Holy crap. Gray, research spies. Okay, so I think Gray might get so fed up with Orange not helping or saying anything that he should just tell Yellow the situation. Tell me where Red's king is. Okay, Red. Yo, Tima, this is the third game? No, second game? I forget which game of the day this is. But I can say thank you to Sebastian very much for the sub. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Nice to have you. Uh, if you're new, you can say hello. If you're old, I don't care. No, I'm kidding. You can say hello as well. I'll try and get some hellos out here real quick. He's in the castle nearest to you. Which is... That makes no sense because there's no flags there. And yellow, he doesn't give the dot, dot, dot. It's the dot, 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 dots. That's a lot of dots. And so now, Gray turns on yellow. I like how it says, declared war on Joseph Stalin. Um, and now yellow. Oh, he was snitching on... Oh, he was talking about red. Excuse me. I'm stupid. Hello, Holy H. Hello, Intervento. Hello, Muhammad. Hello, Tima. Hello, Tanner. Hello, Red. Hello, Ben. Hello, Deadly Cookie. Anyways, that was wrong, though. I don't think he actually knew... Which castle that king was in, and he just made a guess. And Arbe says, I'm just gonna kill off Blue. And here comes Red to do that. And and to be honest, Blue, while I like the sneaky approach, you also didn't make anything. But he's gonna he's gonna survive because Red is too busy. He's gonna survive. Because Red is too busy. He might lose his trade though. Red hasn't actually turned yet. And the king right now for Red is on the move. Is on the move. It left a while ago. Is running through Green's buildings. Green could turn. And WDW says yellow turned very sad. And Gray says he might have moved it because yellow says that <laughs> yellow's like you lied. He's like he might have moved it. I didn't lie. Nothing to gain out of it. Red is 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 attacking me. So good job from Red to survive here. And it doesn't feel like Joseph Stalin is too pleased with the situation. But Blue is still alive. As is Red, of course. Red now making Paladins, though. For some reason, I thought Red was Tatars this entire time. Don't ask me how Tatars can make Kip checks. I'm just stupid. My brain was thinking Tatars. Then I saw Paladin, and it reminded me he was Kumans. And yeah, Yellow's been banking up resources for a very long time. We know this. He's finally starting to spend that gold. And our base, I'm trying to figure out our base's plan here. Let's look at the overall KD here. We should have that KD here. Total kills for our base is around 200. Why did you turn on red? I turned on red because Gray said he was going to snipe me. They were talking apparently. Okay, that's an amazing lie from Stalin. Gray said you were going to snipe me, says our base. Yes, yes, yes. Don't believe him. And then Yellow did say that, and Yellow finds out that Gray snitched, and he says, WTF, sorry then, I shouldn't have attacked Red. So Yellow's playing real nice right now, because the word got out that he wanted to snipe our base earlier, and he doesn't want to fight him anymore. Or not right now, anyways. And I, does anyone else still feel a little bad for Gray right now? <laughs> like... I actually feel more bad for gray than I do for teal and for purple. Uh, may maybe not. Maybe not. But, like, gray is s trying, but our base clearly has no interest in settling down with gray no long term. Gray played me. He said you were going to snipe me. So, yellow's just making sure, like, hey, gray's a liar. I want you to know that. I have to continue to lie to make sure that point is driven home here. His Diplo should have been better. Yes, I mean, he should have maybe realized attacking these three would leave him on the outside. But also, like, maybe he looked at that and said, I don't want to be teamed with those guys, you know? You guys all went for Gray. He wants to make sure it's not a 4v1. Okay. What I really want is for our base to somehow lose this again. I really want that. I want our base to lose this, and I want Blue to have a chance to stay in this game. Because right now, right now, the stockpile for blue is 3,000 gold. So about red, his king should be in the castle near to you. He signals it now. Or sorry, he researches it now. 
And he says, never mind. So I think he is actually going to tell Yellow where Red is now. As Red is down here. And Yellow has now turned on Voscarius. And Voscarius' king has not been well protected this game. But that is because Voscarius is making the move to go for Joseph Stalin. This is not an offensive move from Yellow. Though there's a lot of buildings forward. No. This is a defensive move. And Stalin's his green enemy now. And I wonder if anyone's going to defend Stalin here. If they start to see green is making real progress, I think it would make sense for a lot of these players to just let it happen. Wow. Meanwhile, our base says, I didn't know that you can build on that snow terrain. So that's uh, that's where our base's brain is at right now. And that is our base talking to himself. And wait, what snow terrain? I don't know. Anyways, we're back here and... But scary is backs away for the time being. That is a lot of Cavalier. Sicilian Cavalier resists bonus damage. Also, they receive an upgrade, which gives them incredible tankiness. Arbalest and Halberdier gets wrecked by these Cavalier. There is simply no way for Vascarius. Also, there's no way a civilization, uh, a unit which resists bonus damage should also get a, uh, an upgrade like Halberd, in my competitive opinion. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll save that conversation for another time. I don't know who Red's talking to, but he says, I hear you are quite good at gaslighting. <laughs> and Gray says, who's doing what? Go kill Gray. I love our base to death, but I'm starting to get... No, Gray! Gray, 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 Gray! Don't kill Blue! You could use him! Yellow, ask for your king. You attack me. I told him. All right. This is getting weird, man. This is getting weird. It's, it's a bit all over the place, isn't it? But Blue is going to have two-handed swordsmen with plus eight attack against Gray's Halbs. And with Teal's protection from beyond the grave and now champion for Blue. Blue is in this. T90, all I know is that everyone is trading with me at the moment, smiley face. Yeah, I was just going to say, so he, he literally toggled off chat for all the other players and said that. So, for my benefit, for your benefit, okay? No one else saw that. You can do that. And I, I feel like our base is trying to be the, um, he's trying to be the puppet master here. He's trying to tell everyone else what to do, but he doesn't want to actually make any moves because every, all the trade's going through him, and you never want to be that one with the target on your back. Green, come with me to blue. Blue is in this game, man. Blue is in this game. One TC. Didn't, didn't really try and boom up too much. Just one TC. Green ally. And Vascaria says, okay. I actually think it's a bad move. I think that yellow should just kill green after that. Because you know green can't be trusted. Also, halberdiers do not count to these cavalier. And there's like no other unit that Vascarius can really make. Unless he has a lot of siege, right? You've got 70 Cavalier. Just kill Green. Like, he will never backstab you again. And then you don't have to worry about it. Gray, let's kill Blue. You have good Cav. I'll bring Goth Spam units. Wait one minute. Wait, what? Okay. This is interesting. I think Gray can't do anything on his own. Red can't do anything on his own. And then orange doesn't want to really want to do anything. And then green and yellow are being a little bit hesitant to make a move for anyone else. Check red's chat earlier. What did red say? To all but our base, notice where the, all the trade is going. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, so, okay, so while that's a fair point, and I think what he's trying to say here is our base is really strong, they're also in need of our base because that's where their trade's going. They can't turn on the guy because they'll lose it all. I, I like the atten I like the thought process there, but I think they need to trade with someone else before they could ever turn. Gray, orange at me. Do something. You are three. That's the first time we've heard from Blue in a long time. And yeah, Elite Boyar completely wrecks other forms of infantry. Well, or actually, it's not just infantry, but cavalry as well. Basically, any melee unit. It's like a Teutonic Knight and a horse. 
And our base trying to play dumb a little bit, and I think this might actually be the real conclusion for Blue. That Blue knows this and is now running away. Uh, Blue has to be careful, though. Yellow does have some military over here. I don't think it matters too much. We just have to kill Gray ASAP. Yeah, you're going to kill Gray, and our base is going to sit back, and he's terrified to make a move because everyone might see him as a threat. Our base doesn't have that much gold, by the way. He has 13,000 gold, so there's a lot of trade going to him. That does not mean he is actually trading a lot. Blue with a little escort here for the king. This game definitely feels like we need to see someone die for a change. You know, like a change of weather is going to come once somebody dies. Yellow says to Gray, I go. Now, Gray's out of position here, but does have Boyars. And I actually haven't seen Boyars versus Sicilian Cavalier, but... A lot of eco there for our base. And he's going to bring in some Bomber Cannons. But know what? They're not really committing with a lot. Like, okay, no, the Cavalier's a lot, but our base isn't going to do much. He's, like, saying just get him. I would be saying, like, okay, what are you going to do? You're next to him. What's the plan? And <laughs> our base, okay, this is, this is, he's such a snake. He's such a snake. He literally says to Yellow, just go get him. And now he goes to Gray. He says, oh, God, Yellow is coming. Watch out. <laughs> and then he toggles his chat back to talk to Yellow. And he's like, yes, go. <laughs> All right. I love it now. When I wasn't really getting the flow of the chat down and how backstabby and sneaky it was, I didn't know what to think, but... <laughs> and I think Orange is saying, coming, I'm slow. I'm waiting for him to kill Blue. Oh, he doesn't want to kill Gray because Gray's trying to kill Blue right now. Sneaky. And Blue's just running around. And, and, oh, okay. Yellow noticed this. Yellow says, are you allies with him? And he goes, dot, 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 dot. And our base says, yes, for the longest time. And our base is going to try and be like, hey, I mean, there's a strategy to this, but you got to be careful here, our base. You just basically got called out, called out for not helping. Blue still running around. Gray still trying to find this. Blue is going to die, unfortunately. Uh, has now allied himself, though, to Green. I think Green has actually accepted that. Oh, God! Our base is going to find this king. I think our base will get the kill. Gray does not trust our base because the bomber cannons are attack grounding, and he comes home, so turns on our base, as well as yellow, obviously. Our base has no clue the Huskarl is chasing right now. Blue needs to make it somewhere and should be able to, to outrun the Huskarl, but one more hit and he's dead. Gray says, help, please. And he was asking our base, but our base never had any intention. Never had any intention of that. And our base says, kill Blue. Don't worry about Blue. Stop worrying about Blue. Blue's not important. No offense, Blue, but your Blue's not important to you. It says now that Blue's king is, is threatened by Stalin. I don't think that's going to be the case. Is now in there safely with Orange's or uh, Vascarius' king. Dude, blue, how? This is some Benny Hill stuff. <laughs> oh, MFG. True, though, man. True. I feel I feel bad for Mira. But I think Mira should have never killed blue. Like, I, it's so weird to me how Mira tried to kill blue and hasn't called our base out for not being helpful. Our base just never, never helped. Never fought yellow once. And you have red turning now on blue. And is heading this way. I don't think red knows, though, that the king is actually in a different area now. And st I can't believe that I'm about to say I'm happy for Joseph Stalin. And I'm rooting for Joseph Stalin. But Stalin says a lot of directing and fighting. He says... Hey, Orange, a lot of directing and no fighting from you. Very sus. Yes, it is very sus. He's just say, hey, go do this. Hey, go do this. Hey, go do this. And he's not doing a damn thing. But it's Stalin, though. 
It's Stalin, the one that I approve. Hmm. Uh, add it. If you're watching on mobile, there is a weird bug that can happen from time to time where my voice goes very low like this. It sounds like I'm using a voice changer. It is when your phone is like loading up the stream's audio on mobile. Uh, it happens occasionally, so if I sound different, I saw you mention it. Maybe just reopen it or make sure it's not, uh, it's not like buffering or something. Don't you see? You will end up like me, betrayed. I'm not even the strongest player, and I don't have trade. Hmm. Yeah, I think Gray... I think Gray should have worked with Blue. And I think Gray should have, should have like, kind of given our base some of his own treatment and acted like he was friends with them when he was not. I think that would have gone a long way to keep Gray in the game, at least. At this point, it doesn't feel like Gray is in the game. Now, Yellow has massive walls. Yellow, you could argue, has the most important uh, position. And then, okay, Gray immediately allies Blue. I think we could also say that Blue could have said something to Gray, right? So if we're being critical of Mira for not being friends with Blue, Blue didn't say anything. And Blue it wasn't exactly doing as much as some of the others. But they got there. They are friends now. Is it too late for Gray? We'll see. We have a lot of goth infantry coming in. And our base now feels pressured to actually fight because he was called out. And Joseph Stalin is not exactly untrusting of our base, but did just mention it earlier. And Voscaria says, want to join us against Orange next red. So they're kind of trying to form a team to go after our base next, but I don't know when Voscarius says us who he means. But this is going to be the end for Mira, who has fought hard, but has really f also, I think, been frustrated with the situation. There was just You're just not able to do much on your own out here. Hmm. I was thinking you're using voice changer of some old guy. Uh, I mean, I am old, but uh, no. <laughs> That's, it, again, it's a weird bug. I actually, thank you to the viewer who uh, they used, like, a Bluetooth speaker and played the audio. It apparently, like, even changes the audio that goes through the speaker or something. I don't know how they, exactly they did it. But I, I reported it to them, and they were like, do you have an example of this? Because uh, like, cause we don't know what you're talking about, and I sent it to them last week. Green, help out, question mark? Blue doesn't matter. Must have five pop. Now he's doing okay. I allied. Okay. Hmm. Forgive me as I look around here to see what direction this is going to go. Do you think that our base will be killed by yellow and green after this, guys? Specifically yellow and green. Are they going to work together? Because those are the choices. You have yellow and green and red. So a 3v1 versus our base. Or... We have our base and Stalin against Voscarius and Red. Hmm. Help us out, question mark. And so Yellow is asking for some help, and Green says, yes, yeah, sorry. So Green is going to come in and help finish off Gray. I mean, I think it's better for Stalin... Oh, this is tricky. I'm trying to figure out what's better for Stalin. Uh, is it better for him to defend our base when that moment comes, or just kill him? Mm, I feel like it's better to work with our base, actually. Because they're trading together. And because Goths are really strong. Red says, want to ping me, orange is king. Gray says, sure. So Gray... Research is treason. Gray knows that this is the end or close to it. So Gray pings where the king is. Where is blue? Question mark. Why are these guys so focused on blue? Vascarius says blue is dead. Trying to get people to stop thinking about blue. Yellow says no, he's not. Vascarius says I'm allied with him, has nothing. Yellow can't figure out where Blue's king is because it's in the same building as Green's king. Yeah, it's in the same castle. 
Oh, yellow. I see. I didn't realize yellow actually had an army here. He's really looking for that king. The blue is actually going to lose the bills. And now there's two more bills over here now. And the trade... The trade is still going to Teal's markets, though. That's funny. Still trading somehow. I just... How sick would it be if Blue gets a snipe out of this? The Red's making a move for the King. Okay, here we go. This is our base. Now, our base has military in queue, but our base is fighting. Now, what's going to happen is our base probably has the gather point set for the new units forward. So if our base notices this, all the gather points have to be changed. Gray has researched treason again. That's not cheap. And he's going to probably tell Red. And Red says pushing. And there is a chance that our base, despite having fakes in these castles, has villagers. You don't know exactly usually if this happens. But because the information was fed over to Red by Gray, we could see our base go down here. And our base immediately panics, you can see. And queued up trebuchets, which I think must have been a misclick. I'm not sure how trebuchets help the situation. And if our base tries to hop into another castle, it's going to be very close. It really comes down to if our base has other units the Kipchaks are going to be firing on. Because if not, I think the king dies. Has he noticed? Where's the gather point set? Is it in another castle? That's his only chance. And it makes it! It makes it! So did Red notice that though? I don't know if Red noticed that. He needs to focus down the next castle. And our base makes the move to the next castle. And here come the Halbs and Huskarls. What a great surviving move here from our base. Meanwhile, Gray is being attacked by Yellow. And a little bit by our base as well. And Gray is saying to our base, I told you they shouldn't have betrayed you. But guys, I still think Red's going to get the job done. I still think Red's going to get the job done. There is not as much of a uh, distance between these castles. Or sorry, there's more of a distance between these castles. Oh, 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 oh! No way! Okay, now move on to the next castle. Like I said, it comes down to if the units auto attack something else that's close. Our base is running out of the castles now. Our base has no faith that the castles are going to be enough. Not sure if that's a great move here. Is our base being forced to run to Joseph Stalin's house? Uh, I wouldn't feel safe there. Meanwhile, blue is leaving. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> oh my god. Yellow's going to kill green. Green's not going to notice this. But blue noticed and blue didn't say anything. No way. Okay, there goes the king. Uh, Wait, the king could survive? Green, your king, says blue. A little late. So green's going to die now. And then meanwhile, orange has died as well to red. It was at the same time, so I'm going to go back and show you. Forgive me. What happened here? I thought orange was going to make it in. Let's see. Oh, the king's bumping into the trade. The paladins are somehow able to get through the trade. The king's bumping, 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 bumping. And I hate it when you're trying to evade ru traffic during rush hour. Okay, so two kings died there. Wow. So blue is still in the game, and there's four people left. And where's the king at? The king is just on the shoreline. Our base killed off. I have to say, salutes out there to red. What a great recovery from red. Red, like, got really hurt earlier in this game by yellow. Ended up getting the kill. Blue still is trading. There is still trade somehow for blue. I don't know if blue has villagers now. Uh, blue has, yeah, blue has eco. I'm trying to see, yeah, has a TC even. But might not believe that running home is the best idea. <laughs> deal, deal with the trash talk. Grace is damn. That feels good, Mr. T90. It starts talking about karma here. And maybe he's upset that he didn't receive the support from our base earlier. Imagine getting outlasted by blue and now Stalin is going to be allied with Mira. I don't think it was bad strategy from our base to play this how he did because everyone was kind of buddy buddy with him, but you could see yellow began to lose trust in him and oh Stalin is going to make a wonder and you think you can win with wonder victory in this as well. That's not a good play though. That is not a good play, right? Because now that puts... Hey, Yellow says, what was that noise? That would be the wonder you're building. 
Yeah, you little sarcastic little punk. Oh my god, he's gonna try and go for the last stand all on his own here. He's basically saying, come at me, you fools. My king can't be killed. I'm gonna do this. Come and kill me. He's putting them on a clock. Gray says he doesn't know, but it's last man standing. Wonder doesn't work. Oh, we can kill him. No, actually, last man standing, I know it is confusing. You would think if it was on standard, it would work, but it, it for whatever reason, it's broken. Last man standing means Wonder Victory does work. If there is a countdown, if you hear the noise at all when a Wonder starts going up, guys, that means Wonder Victory works, in case you're curious. Blue's going to try and rally the troops here. He says, red, gray. We three versus yellow. Okay. Only chance. I like how blue says we and, and uses the number three. I feel like it's more like two and a half. Or like, I don't know, like 2.01 versus, versus him. Red, are you good with that? I mean, red has to be good with that. Red is being attacked right now by yellow. So look at the stockpiles now. Red does have a lot, but I just don't see how you kill Sicilians easily. And oh boy, here goes blue. I don't know why blue isn't running towards the town center. Maybe still was a little worried about that. I don't think Cummins have any answers to Sicilians' options here. And the way yellow is situated in the west with the walls is going to make it almost impossible to surprise yellow. And I think yellow knows that. And I think that's why yellow has gone for the wonder. And yellow believes this is possible. So, I mean, I don't know what blue's going to make here, but blue has microed the king more than any player I've seen. Huh. Teal really wants to talk to the other. Oh, no! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Red's like, you know what? I, I've had enough of that. Red just finishes off Peter. Peter's out of the game. Heck of a game, Peter. Heck of a game. One to be proud of. But I'm not sure why exactly Red did that. It's actually maybe not the best play. <laughs> um, But Blue wasn't exactly helping either, so... <laughs> just us two versus him now. But the thing is, Gray was wrong. Wonder Victory works, and they're going to see the countdown on their screens in a bit. Uh, it'll look different because they're in game and not capture age, but. Yeah, and I can't beat him by myself. Yes, of course. There's the wonderful Sicilian Wonder, which I have actually never seen before. Now there is a countdown. And let me tab into the game to verify that's there. Yep, it's there. Okay. I have 11 fills, can't make a TC. I think yellow wins. I think yellow wins. I mean, there's stockpiles of resources, right? Yellow's got... Doesn't have any gold income. It has 5,000 gold. It was really amazing from yellow to kill Voscarius because Voscarius had 56,000 gold and Voscarius really had... It, it would have been three strong players then against him and then he might not have been able to do it. But he recognized once yellow killed green that it was going to be very difficult for them to take out a wonder. Wow. Hmm. So, all that said, let's look at gray. Gray has food at least. I guess you could make halbs. It was so sad that gray could have been trading with blue this entire time. Maybe he didn't really think about that. Sometimes you forget. Oh, is thinking about that. Excuse me. So is trading now. I'm not sure why the army is coming down here, though. What? Oh, because you want to trade with Teal. I got it. Okay, so Teal's the further trade. That's fine. I mean, it might look a little lame, but I think if you're yellow, you don't want to push out like this. You don't want to go kill kings. I admire you for trying to do everything, but you really need to have all of your population at home. 37 economy, but has only 70 military. You really need more here. And Gray now turns on Stalin, which I'm sure Stalin wasn't surprised by. Yo, Francisco, thank you very much for the sub. Trent, thank you. Uh, Sebastian, thank you, guys. Yeah, the, the bonus thing is insane. Appreciate it. 
I looks like my my tweet I made about it helped. Twenty dollar bonus per sub for those that don't know till the end of April. I'm getting lots of new subs this week, which has been awesome. Appreciate you guys. And for the future, a hundred percent of it does go towards me on this platform as well. So, you know, every platform tends to have like some type of split. But 100% of it goes directly towards me, at least, until 2023. That's what, uh, th th this was their Facebook gaming initiative they started, like, two years ago or whatever. Not even, like, the main reason that I made the Switch. They obviously made me a, a deal as well, but uh, that helps. That helps, too. Okay. I think what's gonna hurt Red is that he lost most of his production buildings. He really needs to have forward production buildings, and it's the same for Gray, though Gray never had them forward. They they need to have forward production to be able to deal with someone who's got 67 barracks and 22 stables. This is before you talk about maybe the castle's producing some things here. <laughs> Blue's talking a little bit here. He says, for being dead, I was living a long time, yeah. You were. I, I was really hoping Blue could come back. I mean, Blue did have resources, but I think if Blue would have made stuff, then people would have focused on him even more. 67 barracks isn't bad. Maybe two more wouldn't be a bit nicer, but... Okay, making a few more will be at around 70 barracks. So yeah, you need... And I honestly feel like you need to... Well, I was just about to say that you need to kill the king and not the wonder here, but I actually disagree with what with that. Because gray is trading, red could trade, yellow can't. So just taking out the wonder, even though yellow's got this amazing fortified position, yellow can't sit here in the long term. Yellow can just sit here for 300 more years. So, I mean, if they're making siege, if they could sneak in somewhere and just take out that wonder. I would even be walling the wonder in right now if I'm yellow, just to make sure... Paladins don't get into it. I don't know if you guys used to play FIFA. I don't really play it anymore. But as a kid, I used to play FIFA all the time. And one of my favorite FIFA soundtrack songs is by what you're hearing right now. The Ting Tings. You know the Ting Tings? That's not my name. That song? Yeah. That's all we're here. Ting, 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 ting. That's all we got right now. Like FIFA 2015 or whatever version that was. Oh, Siege Onagers! Pain for the Paladins, but they're on a clock now. They're on a clock, and they know it. Fortunate for WDW Kid, he never had, um... He never had even Siege Ram, so he couldn't make any push on these walls. Ting, 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 ting. Was that FIFA 11? Gotcha. Yeah, I don't really remember what year that was. And Gray, Gray made it in! What the? Gray made it in! Attack the Wonder! No way Gray made it in! No way Gray made it in! I don't think Yellow knows, and I'm gonna have to look back at this later. I will rewind, but not now, because this is an intense moment. And Stalin's moving with the King. Take out the Wonder! Take out the Wonder. Okay, some of his units are attacking the Wonder. The Boyars are dealing with the rest, but I swear to God, dude, if you don't take out this Wonder, Yellow is making a run for right now. But that wonder has to be taken care of. He could still win with the wonder if his king survives over here, and I think it's likely he will. Looking at his resource stockpiles, he's got the resources to make more halves. So your boyars will die. You need to take out that wonder. And Red knows that. So Red has actually gotten in as well. He's clicked paladins through, and he's just trying his best. So maybe the boyars will deal with the halves, and then the paladins can deal with the wonder? Yellow knows this too. Yellow's like, screw the boyars. He says, well done, Gray. I think... Does Yellow have Vils that can repair this? I think this Wonder stays up. I think this Wonder stays up. Gray says, thanks. But it wasn't perfectly done. And Gray says, wasn't an easy game for me. Yeah, what a fight you've had to go through. Honestly, this has been a brutal game for Gray. But Yellow can do this. That Wonder is at 2,000 HP still. And Grace is not enough, it seems. I think, like, maybe 50% of the Boyars tasked to the Wonder and the others not, but it's really hard to get that balance down. Yellow's about to have 200 Halbs, I think, because Yellow's got very few Villagers. Now, Yellow is repairing this. Um, 
And yeah, definitely has enough to repair it for a while. So, takes a while to repair, but as long as Yellow camps this another 200 years, maybe it's possible. Now, Gray does have the ability to make more Boyars. So, we're going to freak out and say, oh no, it's over. No, Gray can make more. Because Gray has trade now. So, Gray's been trading. Um, Blue is also... Oh, Blue's dead, I forgot. Red is also trading to Gray. So, they will have gold income. And I was about to be disappointed and say that they couldn't do this now. And I think I might have even said those words. But I actually think it is still doable. Um, I would love to see capped ram for WDW. I know you've been around my community long enough to know that's a thing. But you're probably just stressed. Having the kip checks in here obviously help a bit with the halberdiers. But, you know, you need to have the siege to take out the buildings. Stalin says, I'm not going to win this. I I'm still not certain. I just don't know how Grey got in before. Gray says, yes, you are. I like how little confidence the, the top three have in each other right now. Or have in themselves. <laughs> yeah, champs would be nice, but I think Boyars are still fine. There's a random bomber cannon from our base. And Gray's going to focus that down. See, now it's capped ram. So you have to imagine siege ram is coming in somewhere. Or it will soon. Yellow might be running out of wood or food. Um, is out of wood. <laughs> he made too many barracks. <laughs> he made too many barracks. Guys, if he's out of wood, he's not able to make halves. Okay, he just bought some wood, clearly. Military counts at 60, though. And with the military count at 60, and the, the ram's still moving... And the, the boyar is here, the halves here, it does seem like Stalin is gonna be stopped. He's made more barracks as part of a wall here. Anything to buy time. And here comes Red. And you can understand the desperation here, right? I just don't know if it makes... For the 160 years... I, I like it and I hate it. I feel like if you just focus your push here, you will eventually get close enough. And good old Joe says, To the last man! And Yellow will continue to fight here. So many ting ting tings here. But you see what I mean? If you trickle the units in to go after the Wonder now, it, it might still be giving Yellow opportunities. I think Yellow could actually still do this. He just needs to take care of the ramps, and Red needs to continue to make more ramps. Ram down these buildings, and then you treb this down. Oh, the King, the King Refuge is under attack. Wait, where's the... Oh, it's here. They're going for the King. Okay. So he's clicked the castle... Sorry, I forgot the king came back to this corner. Still, this push continues. That does not think this is doable. Gray, maybe not, does not think this is doable. He's asking what type of resources Gray has. Gray says one stone? That's very specific. I actually want to see their stockpiles. I've been looking at yellows. Yeah, Gray does not have a lot of uh, wood. So it would be struggle to make forward barracks, for example. So it's just it's just making batches of boyars. Oh, they're sending resources to each other now. Okay, well fought, guys. Says yellow. It has been a great fight and a great game here, but I still don't know who's gonna win. That, the hussar spam is insane from red. So he he must have. Uh, I forget the name of the technology, but it increases the production speed of Hussars. Yellow's King will stay up. But 122 years. Okay, Siege Ram is now in. Yeah, Yellow is officially dead. Yellow is dead. He's He does not have above 45 military. He's not in the top three of military anymore. I wonder if Red was asking Gray about resources because Red feels like they're going to take out Yellow and he wants to know what he's up against. He'll get this. Hey, he doesn't have any more Halbs in queue. He's going for champions now, probably because he lacks wood and only has food and gold. Champions are actually quite poor against Hussars alone. Plus, you've got everything else to deal with. Yellow just made is trying to make a run for it. As the rams are coming in. And the wonder victory is immediately cancelled once your king is killed. 
If you want to kill me afterwards, I'm good with it. You didn't betray me, says Gray, and that means something to me. Yo, Gray has been through an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> you had people acting like they were friends when they weren't. And huh, there he goes. And that king goes down, as does the wonder. Watch it fall. So satisfying. And Stalin has been defeated, ladies and gents. Stalin has been defeated. We have WDW Kid and Mira, two players I would not have expected to be in the final two. We're watching most of this game, and they have made it here. They have both played in community games before. I am uncertain on if there have been victories between these two. I feel like maybe Mira got one back in the day. But Red turns on Gray after 636 years of friendship. And here go the Hussars. Now, back to the stockpiles and back to the resources. Um, you do have quite a few resources for both players. It just feels like it's... The trade count for Gray actually might win in the game. 87 on gold is insane versus 10. Or, yeah, versus 10 from red. And red is floating food but doesn't have any wooden come. So it's probably got to be just this wave of Hussars. Yeah, and if Gray just makes Boyars, I don't really see what Kumans can do. In all honesty. And I think Red knows that. I think Red's going to try with everything. And that's enough Hussars where maybe it's possible. <laughs> Man, Red has... Red has 180 military. Yeah, maybe it's possible. Gray should be making more Boyars soon. And should be bringing some Boyars home. But also wants to go forward to kill Red. And actually, I think it's going to be much more difficult for Red to defend himself. We know Gray's got more castles, right? Not to mention, I think Boyar is stronger than the Hussar. Is Gray actually going to win this? It's like no one wanted to be with Gray. I guess some people did. Like maybe at one point Blue did. But the whole Western side was just using Gray for so long. Wow. Our base was happy to say things, well, to everyone for a while there. And. Try and wait for the late game. Red, obviously, like, the, the big reason that Gray is alive is because of Red. So I think they fight each other right now with a lot of respect for each other. The Trebs for Gray. I didn't see those were here. The Trebs take out the castle. You could bring in the Trebs for the next castle. Red doesn't seem to notice this. Red just YOLOing in here. But I don't think you can kill this king. Unless there's a massive mistake for Gray. It feels like the Boyars and the Castle Fire will be enough. To even stop this castle from going partially down. Red notices this though. Does snipe the trebuchets. Good work there. So now the boyars are going to have to go in. <laughs> is there money reward for kills? No, there's no money reward for kills. Unless this is Red Decide Rumble. Which we will eventually bring back. This is just for the good old pride and glory. Which makes games the most fun. I mean the cash size. The, the, the cash prize, sorry, can sometimes... Make it exciting as well, but if every community game had some money on the line, it wouldn't be a community game anymore, you know? <laughs> People would be treating this like a business, bro. Boyar's taking out this castle pretty quickly. I think this castle will eject the king. Now, will the Boyar's be in high enough number to kill the king then? I'm not sure. I remember when Red had 180 military. Red has 40 now. I think Red might be out of food at this point. Red has 5,000 food, but still. Doesn't have the gold income that Gray has. And Gray, with now 130 military, comprised of Boyars. Castle's halfway down. I think Gray can now run out across the map with everything that was at home and finish the job. Like, I didn't... You remember what Blue walled? It kind of felt like Blue didn't have a lot of trust in Gray. Then there was Purple and there was Blue and Teal. They were all talking amongst themselves. They kind of wanted to be with Gray, but I didn't get any strong indication that that was serious. And it was the same with the other side. I mean, people benefited from being Gray's ally. Don't get me wrong, but Gray was never... Gray never had someone in this game. That said, you are my, I don't know, ride or die. You're you are my forever. You're my life partner. You're my buddy. And what a great game. A great game for both of these guys. Because it was also bad for Red. 
too. Like, Red was attacked by Yellow at some point. I think people were talking about killing him many, many, many times. Uh, the top two have a lot to be proud of. It was certainly stressful. It, it might almost have felt better at times for Gray to have a teammate that loved and appreciated him and then, you know, you got second place. Like, it might have actually felt better to get second place and actually have a team. Because <laughs> that was so frustrating, I'm sure. But what a fight back. What a fight back. Uh, highest military count was 489. Our most unit created for Gray. Ascarius made a lot of Arbalest. And we'll go to the stats. But yeah, that was a good game. From Blue trying to survive there and play play dead. From having freaking Joseph Stalin in the game. I don't even know who that was. Um, to a good mix of Diplo and action and different civs and units. Some mistakes, of course, which happen from time to time, which always spice it up. That was a good community game right there. Woo, man. All right. And what was the total KD? Well, um, you can see Gray owned it with that stat as well. 1,900 kills, 1,200 deaths was actually at the top there. Still almost doesn't feel real. It, Gray had so much less trade, I think. Let's look. Total gold income. 100. And 21,000 gold for Vuscarius. I think he died with 50k in the bank, which must be so sad. And honestly, what's funny about that is Vuscarius only died because Vuscarius was defending Peter. That would be my guess. Now, maybe maybe good old Joe's going to show up and dispute that. But remember what happened 10 minutes prior to Green dying here? Yellow was like, hey, I can't find Blue. Where is he? And Vuscarius goes... He's dead. He's fine. He has five pop. It's not a big deal. And then yellow was silent and yellow was silent because yellow was making cav archers and yo yellow was making, uh, did he make petards? I forget. Anyways, he ended up taking down this castle to kill blue and said, well, while I'm at it, might as well kill green. Cause he won't do what I want him to do. So <laughs> the scariest, not going to be too pleased with that one. Blue didn't even really give him a proper heads up. Blue ran out of the castle and gave him a heads up like 20 seconds later. <laughs> but, you know, he was self-preservation the whole time. So, um, I mean, there's a lot more I could probably say about that game. Uh, but it was a good community game with a good mix of styles. And I hope people ended up enjoying that. We'll see. Who is the fastest player? If you had to guess who had the highest APM out of all the players there, who would you guess? I'm going with Peter. Apparently... The highest APM was Dominius with 100 at the start of the game. If this doesn't tell you that maybe APM stats are uh, hard to judge at times, I don't know what will. I don't know what happened here. Uh, maybe Dominius uh, clicked a hotkey a bunch of times at the minute one. But apparently Dominius, who... Uh, I was going to make a pun like Dominius, Diminish. Nah, I ruined it now. Anyways, Dominius was the fastest player. Very surprised to see it wasn't Peter as he was moving his king around. 